In this video, I will show you how to download and install VMware Workstation 17 Pro. I will begin this video from VMware homepage and I will leave the URL in the description down below. First, we need to go to Products, select Workstation Pro, now download trial, scroll down a bit and download now. And now let's wait for our download to finish. And now we can go to our downloads folder. Right click to run as administrator. Click yes to allow it to run. Now we can begin by clicking next. Here we need to agree to license terms. I will be installing enhanced keyboard driver because this will allow us to send keyboard shortcuts to our virtual machines. And I don't want to check for product updates on startup or the join VMware customer experience program. So I'll be removing both of them. And I also don't want any shortcuts in my start menu programs folder. So I will also remove that. And now we need just to click install. Now let's click finish. Here it is asking us to restart, but I will do that later. Let's minimize these windows and run VMware Workstation. Here I will be activating my trial. Click yes to allow it to run and finish. And now I will change few preferences and these will be my own personal preferences. So you can follow along or you can skip these steps. And for that, I will go to Edit, Preferences. First, I will change the default location for my virtual machine because I don't want to do that every time I create one. Also, I don't need to remember open tabs between sessions. And I also hate this IRO peak thumbnails for open tabs, so I will be disabling that. I also don't need a tray icon. And that's about it and click OK to save changes. Now I need to restart my machine and after that I will talk about BIOS settings that you need to enable before running virtual machines. If you're receiving this error message when trying to run virtual machines, that means that virtualization is disabled on your motherboard and that you will need to go to your BIOS to enable it. And to help you a little bit, I will leave URL in the description uh, for this Microsoft documentation where you can find information on how to enable virtualization on different types of motherboards. And that's it for this video. See you in the next one.